Hey, I'm Anfa. In this video, I would like to talk about the differences between vital and vitalium. Because a lot of people have been asking this, and it seems like um, there's a lot of confusion about this. So I thought I'm going to uh, basically explain what the hell is going on. So, vital was created by Matt Titel and released as a free and open source plugin project. He has published the source code with some delay in relation to the binary um, release, which was a premiere and like it's a commercial product. Uh, he is giving people uh, an option to get it for free as a freeware product, but there's also subscription uh, and basically, well, it's a product. And he has released the source code under a GPL license. Actually, it's dual licensed. He also says that uh, it can be commercially licensed um, on, upon request. So he's released the source code of the initial release. Like It was like version 0.1.3, I believe. Uh, actually, we can check that uh, if I just... Um, yeah, no, sorry, version 1.0.6, but maybe that's a different version because uh, Vitalium has had its own um, independent changes. All right, so back to Vital. So Matt Titel has developed Vital. Uh, he has published it as a commercial product, but also available as a freeware um, option. Uh, he's created subscription um, features where people can get more like presets and skins and like wavetables and different kinds of um, extra content, which isn't strictly necessary to use the, the plugin. The, the freeware version as well as the paid versions all have the same functionality. The only difference is that the paid version also has something called, uh, where is it? Uh, text to wavetable. So, um, okay, okay, all versions have this text to wavetable, but the free ver freeware version uh, of Vital has a limit of like five uh, uses of this per day. It's because it's an online service that uh, Matt basically has to pay for. So he needs to somehow, you know, limit the the amount of money this is going to cost him. If it's uh, people are using this who are like not paying for, for the subscription. So this is limited. And that is vital. Matt has also released the source code under GNU GPL license. And uh, but he has stated he's not going to take any pull requests. What does that mean is because he's released the source code, anyone can grab it and modify it. Um, and if someone modifies it, they can create a pull request. So request for Matt to pull in their changes to Vital's source code. And he said that he's not going to accept any pull requests. So his uh, GitHub repository, so the, the place where all the source code he's released is stored, is read-only. We can only get the source code, but he's not going to uh, accept any changes that the community does. And this is where Vitalium comes in, because Vitalium is basically a fork that is a different version of the software created as a copy initially and then maintained by different people. Um, Vitalium is a fork of the original source code that Matt Titel has published because, well, the community wanted to do some fixes, do some changes. You may also see that there is uh, no way to do uh, text to wavetable, so there is no speech synthesis option available in Vitalium because Vitalium has no online services. 
That's the main difference between Vital and Vitalium. Vitalium has no online services. There is no login option as it is in Vital. There is no text to wavetable because that's an online feature. And there is no way to like install presets for Vital from the online um, store because Vital uses um, accounts, online accounts, to have users purchase uh, content on the website and then it's automatically downloaded into their vital um, and uh, into their vital installation because their vital installation the plugin is connected to their online account that's not the case with vitalium there is no online accounts with vitalium it's all offline it's uh, untethered and as a result, the sun is breaking my green screen, so wait a second. Uh, it's not connected to any online services by uh, by Matt Titel. This is also by his request. Also, the difference in name is by his request that whatever is released based on the source code that he's released cannot be named Vital and cannot use the Vital logo. And this is very understandable because that could create a lot of confusion among his clients, basically, and users of the original Vital. And they could like download what something that they didn't want to download and be confused and then complain to, to Matt that they have some problems where they're using uh, software that he's not really responsible for because people can modify it and introduce changes that he can't control. Uh, so that's where Vitalium comes in. Vitalium is a name that is similar to um, the trend of calling open source versions of, of commercial products with the addendum, with the suffix yum, I-U-M. Uh, so, so for example, the Google Chrome browser has been like the open source version of that is called Google Chromium. Okay, not Google then, Chromium. Uh, there is like um, software development environment by Microsoft, it's called VS Code, and an open source version of that is called VS Codium. So uh, there's been an amazing amount of ideas thrown in the community. On my community chat, there's been like probably a hundred names dropped, like ideas of what we should call the fork of Vital. And I should probably find that and archive it because it was really funny. And it was a great celebration. Uh, also a great like appreciation of Matt's generosity because he spent years making this synthesizer and he's released the source code for everyone. And thanks to that, we can have Vitalium, which is open source, it's it's free software in the deepest meaning of the word. It's not just freeware, it's free software. And that is great. Um, another difference between uh, Vital and Vitalium is that Matt has not been updating the source code. So um, Vital has probably some changes, some new things or improvements, maybe some bug fixes that are not yet present in Vitalium. Um, Vital is at right now at version 1.0.8. Uh, I've just downloaded this version. There doesn't seem to be any large visual changes, like there's the same effects, uh, like the matrix, mod, mod matrix looks the same, <laughs> advanced settings. I also don't see any any changes in here. We can compare it to uh, Vitalium. We have the same effects. The, the, the mod matrix looks exactly the same and advanced settings, exactly the same. The main th difference you can see is the default color scheme. So Vital uses this uh, nice uh, light violet and green and Vitalium uses or orangish yellow instead of the thing. And that's because of the logo. And the interesting thing about the logo is that I designed this and I pitched this to Matt uh, as an original idea for the logo for Vital. Because I've been in collaboration with him. I reached out when he announced on his blog years ago that he's working on a new synth. And I, I reached out and I said, hey, 
What's that new synth you're making? I wanna, I wanna know. Uh, I've talked in detail about this on my presentation on Sonic Convention, uh, one of the events uh, of the Sonic Convention, and I've given a presentation of the then current state of Vital before release. It's a, it was a beta version. It's a bit different from what uh, is here now and what is Vitalium presenting now. So that was a logo I designed for Vital originally, but Matt has uh, had someone else design a logo, and I think the, the Vital logo is really nice. It's uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I think it's really cool. Uh, it looks great. Uh, but once Vitalium was created, actually by um, Falk TX, there was a need for a new logo. And I said, hey, I have this old design I've made laying around. Let's use that. So we reused that. And because of the orange, yellowish, yellowish, orange color, I've used that. Uh, Falk TX have modified the um, default theme. To reflect that in the uh, in the main like accent color, which I think it's nice because you can also immediately see the difference between Vital and Vitalium. Like you just you know, it's immediately visible. All right, so that's pretty much the differences between the two. So Vital is uh, maintained by Matt Titel and it's his original creation. It's tethered to his online account, online services, and it's it's receiving updates from him directly, while Vitalium is an open source project based on his original source code released, but maintained by different people. Basically, this project is maintained by Falk TX, uh, who is also a maintainer of KX Studio, creator of Carla, of Condense, a lot of great open source software, uh, audio open source software that I'm using daily. And it uh, it doesn't have the online uh, things, but basically it has all, everything else is identical. Also, uh, Vitalium doesn't come with many uh, default presets or samples and stuff. So when you open it up, like you don't really have presets at all. I've created these myself and I've uh, supplied some and basically we as a community, we need to create some basic presets and then send them to the maintainer, Falk TX, and just uh, ask him to uh, include them. <laughs> So people installing Vitalium can have some default presets because right now they pretty much don't. It's uh, very bare, bare, bare bones, very minimum. But you have all the tools. You can create your own. Um, yeah, so that's it really. Uh, I hope you, this covers it. I've been talking about these things in my live streams or, or some longer videos, but I saw many people were asking about the differences. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much my, my, uh, my, no, not all of them are mine. No, these are all mine presets. Okay, yeah. I think the presets come together with Vitalium, but um, not necessarily the other stuff. Alrighty, that's all. Thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something and uh, use Vitalium. <laughs> also, huge thanks to all the people who are supporting my work financially. That uh, helps me make videos like, uh, yeah, I totally messed up. Yeah, so uh, if you would like to support me as well, please go to patreon.com slash anfa or liberapay.com slash anfa. And these are platforms where you can uh, support me monthly. And that helps me keep making videos. Yeah, that's all. Now go and install Vitalium. Make some awesome sounds with it. Thanks to these people, I can make videos like this one. <laughs> that was weird. And that uh, helps me make videos like, uh, yeah, I totally messed up. Uh, alrighty, so... Uh, What the hell? Uh, this one. <laughs> okay, that's that's really funny. Uh, I said everything I had to say, so uh, 
no problem. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to edit this out. Um, yeah, so uh, if you would like to support me as well, please go to patreon.com slash anfa or liberapay.com slash anfa. And these are platforms where you can uh, support me monthly. And that helps me keep making videos. Yeah, that's all. Now go and install Vitalium. Make some awesome sounds with it. Bye.